In this video, we're going to go over how to archive, restore, and remove any of your Google Classrooms. So first, you'll want to access your Google Classroom and go to the Classes homepage on your Classroom dashboard. It'll look something like this. And first, we'll go over this three-dot menu in the top right corner of your class card. So if you click on those three dots, it'll bring up some options to move your class. So you can click on that and you can move the order of your class from here. You can also change the order by dragging and dropping your class like this. And if you click back on that three-dot menu, you'll also see you can edit and you can archive. So this is where you will archive your classes. It will kind of give you a little explainer of what that means and where that goes. It shows you it goes to your archived classes in the menu. And when you click that, you'll see that class is no longer here available. You can see that three dot menu shows archive at the bottom. And so we will go to now the three bar menu on the top left. This is your main menu for your classes and archived classes are down at the bottom. So this will show all of your past classes, all of your archived classes. You can still access that three dot menu on that class and you can click restore. Restore is now that option instead of archive and it will give you the little prompt and click restore and it will move it out of archive classes and back into classes, which are your active classes. So now we're going to archive this class. This class I actually want to fully remove. So once I archive it, it's going to drop it into my archived classes, go back to that menu, and then click on this three dots. And now it gives me the option to delete it. It will warn me that this means deleting all of the pieces of this class. So make sure that you really truly want to delete it. And then I can choose to delete this class and it will remove it from my archive list. And so those are kind of your options for archiving, restoring, and removing classes from this three dot menu in your cards and the three bar menu to access your archived classes here where you can restore any of your past classes if you want to make them active again. And remember in your archive classes, you still have access to all of those materials that you can reuse in any of your posts in your active classes. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel and check out the next video in our playlist.